Hello Leo, welcome to my channel. My name is Victoria. This is Radiant Moon Tarot. Today we're doing a timeless reading for you. We're bringing forth messages from spirit. This is whatever spirit wants you to know right now. Uh, whatever advice, information, guidance that you need to be aware of or that they want to highlight for you. Considering this is a timeless reading, whenever this reading finds you is when you're meant to see it, whether it's the day I post it or whether it's years from now. And once you do see the reading, the energies will last for about four to six weeks after you do see the reading. So let's get right into it and let's see what we've got coming out for you. So we have romance coming in here. Now fear not those of you who are not interested in love or you feel as though you have everything that you need because we can romance a lot of things, right? All has to do with love. However, we do have romance there for you. Romance, it is a sacred power. Let it come to me this hour. So if you are looking for a little bit of romance in your life or a little bit more, then this is attracting it to you at this time. So if you are single looking for love, if you are in a relationship, but maybe it's become a little bit stagnant for you, okay, now is the time. Maybe you can find new ways to spice things up a little bit or connect with your person on a deeper level. Life gets in the way sometimes. And sometimes even if you have a significant other in your life, um, you know, there are those days, there are those weeks on end sometimes where we just get caught up in the hustle and bustle, right? We've got jobs, we've got kids, we've got responsibilities, we've got chores, ugh, right? All of those things going on. We've got other family members and everything. And sometimes we forget to connect back in our heart space with our other person. But we can also view this energy as an energy of love. And love doesn't always have to be romantic love, okay? Although, granted, uh, if that's what you're looking for, or if that's what you want to infuse back into your life and focus on, then this is a great energy for you. But love in itself is the highest vibration of all. We can spend some time with ourselves. Romance yourself. Take yourself out on a date night. Uh, get together with a couple of friends. Okay, go out and have uh, have fun with no um, other intention than just to spend quality time together. Um, this can also be representing spreading your love out into the world. Self-love, self-care, right? Love is all around us. Love really is that highest vibration of all. So how can you infuse a little bit more love into your, day, in, into your daily life, into your daily routine? When's the last time you did something nice for yourself? When's the last time you treated yourself to something or, you know, made yourself feel really good? Go out and get a massage, right? A little bit of bodily self-love there, okay? Um, you know, also your friends, your family, right? Whatever that is, love and romance are really the highest vibration. So um, take this time for yourself there to uh, connect with yourself or people in that high vibe energy. Okay, we also have white energy coming out here for you. Okay, and the white energy is very connected to the white light to source your, um, you know, all of your higher chakras. We've got the Om symbol coming in here on this particular card. Okay, so this is a time of connection and enlightenment for you. This is a time when you can really open up all of your senses, your physical senses, but also your 5D senses there as well. Um, great time for you to engage in some meditation to attract things into your world, manifestations. Okay, everything is hitting home for you right now. You're surrounded with white light of protection, of guidance, and of course, of, um, you know, being able to attract things into your world. Feels is a great time for you to work on your spiritual side, um, your intuition, um, maybe even open up doors of say the Akashic records, things like that. All right. The great, great spiritual energy that's here for you. But spirit wants you, wants to remind you that we are all from the same source. 
we as humans put labels on a million things, right? And depending on your, you know, your culture, your upbringing, right, you may call source something different than someone, you know, a world away may call their version of source. But in actual fact, we are all from the same source. We are all from the same universe. And um, it is just us as humans that has to compartmentalize everything. But this is a great time for you to really connect with your higher source, your higher power there. But I do feel that some of you are perhaps um, going through a bit of a spiritual awakening at the moment. And this may have been going on for quite a while. Of course, a spiritual awakening is not a, li a light switch. Um, it doesn't happen overnight and it is different for every single person. Someone's journey is not, someone else's journey is not the same as yours. They don't have the same life experiences. They don't have the same past lives as you. Okay? Some of the information and some of the experiences can be similar, but it's like a fingerprint. Your spiritual awakening is unique just to you. But connect with your higher self there. Connect um, with the universe on a higher plane. Find that to quiet time to calm your mind. And again, we can put that back to that romance energy, right? Um, we can connect with source, with your higher self. You can find balance and enlightenment and open your heart chakra. When we open our heart chakra, we let the love flow. We let the energy flow around us. It makes us easier to receive messages. It makes it easier for us to be open to possibilities, right? That yin energy that we can embrace with that romance energy coming in. It's multi-leveled energy coming in there for you. So beautiful. White, the color white, by the way, may have some great significance for you. Um, you might be seeing a bunch of white flowers. Oh, maybe white roses with the romance card there. Um, but uh, things white may be really, uh, really soothing and calming for you. I think at this time, white is, of course, uh, the color of purification, of spirituality. Okay, so let's see. Oh, we have some very interesting energy coming out here. Uh, I will say this particular deck, it's a very fun deck, a very weird deck. Um, but it's quite often very, very accurate, um, very bang on. So we have Buddha energy coming out there. Also, by the way, with the Om symbol on that card, we've got grass and we also have um, insignificant change. Okay, so again, I feel here that there are some changes that are happening around you or a little bit of change that you are looking to make and that will be um, really an important part of your journey. When we have the Buddha energy, this is bringing in peace and enlightenment, personal growth, spiritual growth, connecting with your higher self, connecting with source. The messages are flowing th um, through you and to you. And maybe even some of you, if you are so lucky, through and out of you right? You might actually be embracing that energy where you can help other people, that love. But when we have the Buddha energy here, this is really reiterating that this is a great time for you to connect with all of your senses, all of your higher chakras. We do have the grass card coming out here, okay? And yes, that's a pot leaf on that. Um, it's just a very weird deck. This is like, I think, some reincarnation from the 70s or something like that. I'm not really sure. Um, but anyways, but it's a very fun and very interesting deck. But when we have the grass energy, this can represent um, burning and purification and cleansing. Okay, um, we can burn sage, um, Palo Santo, things like that to cleanse your space, to cleanse your energy, to cleanse your environment, okay, to diffuse and get rid of negative energy and just keep this beautiful white light and this positive um, vibes all around you, okay, so that could certainly be what that grass energy there is representing for you. Um, but the grass energy can also represent connecting with nature, Okay, or anything green. And this can sometimes be a great way to ground your energy. Um, one to connect with Mother Earth, with Gaia. Okay, um, but also one where some of you may actually meditate in nature. Sit by the ocean, any kind of body of water, ocean, rivers, lakes, ponds, streams, rain, 
puddles, okay, whatever, uh, whatever you have access to. Um, water itself is very cleansing, very purifying, very spiritual, right? Without water, no one can live, right? It's uh, essential life force is what water is. Um, but when we're out in nature, we automatically feel a little bit more grounded, and for some of you, connecting with nature and being outside may be your um, path to enlightenment and to, you know, meditating in your own personal way. So that's certainly that encouragement there from spirit to get outside. Um, it can also represent just get outside and have fun and enjoy the world that is around you. But we do have insignificant change. Now, this is not insignificant as in minor, as in inconsequential. This is that you are in, right now, a time of significant change. We've got this butterfly here. We've got a caterpillar, a butterfly. We've got the yin and the yang bringing you in balance and harmony with your masculine, your feminine, reminding you that everything is connected, that with the world must have balance. Otherwise, we descend into chaos, right? The planet Earth is um, a planet filled with balance, checks and balances. And when we get the yin and the yang, this is that reminder that everything is connected to everything else. And when things are in balance, when things are in harmony, this is where we create perfection. The butterfly and the caterpillar do represent um, that this may be a time where you are really about to blossom. You are about to shine. This brings in some spiritual growth, some personal growth, shedding of your old skin and welcoming in this beautiful new you, a new life. This is a time of significant change for you. And considering we do have the romance card, which is card number 23, twos, balance, harmony, duality, partnerships, threes, creation, things blossoming in your world, things starting to come to fruition. But you put the two and three together and we've got a five. Fives represent obstacles and challenges, but they also represent the opportunity for change. So again, here, it's a great energy for you. Okay, so if you have been seeing some interesting signs around, if you have been, um, you know, your intuition has been guiding you down a path, or you find yourself all of a sudden interested in things that a year ago you wouldn't normally have been interested in, and now you're starting to do a little bit of research, you know, follow your instincts, follow your intuition, because it's always there showing you and guiding you down the right path, trying to keep you on that straight and narrow, take you away from danger. Um, as well, okay, um, give you encouragement, um, you know, reminders along the way. So pay attention to that and especially any other sign, symbol, synchronicities that you may see uh, around your world, right? You're always being pointed and guided in a certain path. And so sometimes those things that you see and sometimes those instincts that you have to go in a certain direction or, you know, sometimes we can start out by looking at one little thing and it leads us down a rabbit hole. And, uh, you know, for sometimes the good, a lot of times for the good, but sometimes curiosity, uh, you know, uh, killed the cat sometimes, right? Um, but uh, hey, I'm usually that person, right? I'm a very curious person and I will like pull at the little strings and I'm always down a rabbit hole somewhere. Uh, it's fun. It's interesting. Um, but of course, sometimes, uh, you know, sometimes you can have a little hiccup here and there, but that's okay. Um, building blocks of life. Okay. So um, trust your instincts. You're being shown a path. You are being shown a way. A way forward, a way through, those signs of encouragement. But really embrace all of your higher senses, okay? Because this is really your time when you are, a lot of things are coming to light for you. A lot of things are blossoming. You yourself are blossoming, okay? And go with that flow. It's not always easy. The path forward, um, especially for personal or spiritual growth, is, you know, sometimes filled with a lot of ups and downs. Um, but always, always for our best and highest good. We have the page of wands, the five of wands, the three of wands, the two of wands, and the page of pentacles. Wow. Okay. We have a lot of masculine energy that is coming out here for you guys. Okay. I feel here is though you are really excited about the future. The pages quite often 
um, are signs, especially these two pages, are signs of manifestations that are coming to fruition for you. The bottom of the deck, we've actually got the six of wands. Okay, a lot of lot of masculine creative energy for you guys. Okay, the six of wands, victory and success. This is your time to shine, to rise above the crowd, to let people see you for all that you have to offer. This brings in excitement for you. This brings in times of overcoming your obstacles and challenges and seeing the results of what you have been working forward to, what you have been working through. And, you know, you are ready to move forward forward okay so whether that's things that you've been going through in your physical life or again that path to spiritual involvement um, that you've got going on there right it's not always easy uh, the six of wands encourages you that you know to rise above your challenges and to always find that way forward and to focus on finding solutions and focus on you know moving past and overcoming and when we have that positive victorious kind of mindset then it's like anything is possible you might have some natural leadership qualities with that uh, particular card there as well but when we have the page of wands, this brings in flashes of inspiration, uh, your ability to create, to improve your um, your circumstances, okay, to do some research. This brings in a very exciting, action-oriented energy. The page of wands has a zest for life. Quite often, manifestations come to fruition. So again, this is a great time for you to connect and to manifest something wonderful into your world, something that brings some passion, some joy, um, a lot of positive vibes into your world. But this is also you and your energy. The pages do represent, um, you know, the one of the first steps, okay? It shows that you've gone through your one to 10, right? You've gone through your ace of wands. You've gone to your 10 of wands. Oh, things that, you know, sometimes we're on a lot of ups and downs in our journey, but the page of wands, you are on a, um, a path perhaps less traveled and perhaps one where you've acquired and gained a certain amount of knowledge and skill, um, but you're still learning, the pages are always open to learning new things and to expanding their horizons. So again, here, I think that there's some great things going on for you right here. And I think that, you know, you're on a bit of quest. You're on a bit of an adventure, whether this is an inner one or maybe an outer journey. Okay? And you might have some moments of disbelief, but you may also have moments where you're like super excited about what you're discovering and what you're unearthing and uh, the path that you're on. You're willing to try new things to expand um, your mindset, to expand the possibilities that are around you. This does bring in a lot of really positive vibes. Um, the ability to, I mean, if you if you think of, you know, pages quite often represent the youth. And, you know, if you think of, you know, when you've got kids or, you know, even teenagers um, before they get a little jaded sometimes, um, but think of your inner child, right? Your sense of wonder and excitement and, oh my goodness, this, like, this is so cool. Um, so what are you excited about? Okay, this is a time for you to expand your horizons, to have that personal or spiritual growth. And yes, attract in new people, new opportunities, new situations to expand your horizons here and to move forward. Okay. Um, we've got the five of wands here as well. And the five of wands can, yes, sometimes represent, um, a little bit of drama. Sometimes it can represent some obstacles, a little bit of conflict sometimes, or even, uh, competition. So sometimes in order to get what we want, sometimes we need to throw ourselves out and we need to compete for what it is that we're looking for. If you're looking for things like new jobs, new romance, okay, the doors are open for you, but you may need to throw yourself out there, put yourself out in the mix. And as the six of wands shows, we can rise above the challenges that come with the five, right? Rise above that obstacle, rise above any kind of, um, you know, issues, right? Again, your time to shine and stand out in a crowd, whatever that may represent to you. This can certainly show the five of wands can be an energy of training, 
okay, um, using your life experiences and your skills, or maybe, you know, life may throw you another roadblock or an obstacle, okay, but it's the building blocks of life, right, things that we are meant to experience and things that do give us a leg up further down the road, all right, but teamwork and collaboration may also be um, a key for you right now. Um, the five of wands does quite often come in, uh, think of like a, um, uh, like a sports team, you know, think of your favorite uh, basketball team or NFL team or a hockey team or whatever it is that you, you know, that you watch and, you know, you got a whole whack of different personalities with a whole whack of different skill sets all coming together to achieve a common goal to win, right? Is it... Is everyone always on the same page? <laughs> I highly doubt it. Um, but does everyone all have that drive and determination? Does everyone have that common mindset? Absolutely. Um, is it sometimes filled with a little bit of drama? Five of Wands can come in with a little bit of drama. Okay, I'm sure, right? Because you've got all of these winner, winner, chicken dinner personalities out there. Everyone wants to win. Everyone wants to succeed. And sometimes that can create the, that drama, that, you know, those butting heads. But Spirit's really saying here for you that you may have an opportunity to join a group of people, okay, that everyone has different ideas, everyone has different experiences, but they're all, and they're all there for the common purpose. So if you are going through some, you know, a period of spiritual enlightenment and some growth, there may be um, some groups or teams, maybe on the internet, uh, maybe in person, that you can join um, where everyone shares their experiences, right? They may have some different, differing opinions, right? One person's experience doesn't match the others. It doesn't mean that someone's not right or someone's wrong, okay? It just means that it's different, okay? But you can learn from each other, right? And, you know, might have some healthy debates going on here and there, um, but it may actually uh, really do you good, okay? You might learn from that right? Um, but whatever the situation is, the five of wands can certainly represent, uh, you know, the need to, you know, either not let something stand in your way or is really a reminder that you can really rise above, right? It's again, your time to shine, whether you're looking for, you know, new jobs, new romance, whether you're just looking to make improvements in your world, or maybe get a deeper level of understanding there. Okay. Um, rising above or, you know, really collaborating, um, may certainly be your path to success. Okay. This may open new doors for you with the three of wands coming here. Three of wands shows that we got a plan. We got some sort of idea of what it is we want and we're ready to take action and we're ready to move forward and execute that plan. So this can certainly show here that, you know, again, you're on a path forward, okay? We're moving forward, right? You may not always move as fast as you want, okay? But you're removing blocks and obstacles when we get the three of wands. Your path forward is clear. It's time for you to get on that boat that we've got there in that harbor to go on a journey, okay, to grow, to prosper, and to find what it is you're looking for, okay, um, you know, this is a little bit of movement in your card here, or in your cards, I should say, okay, but I think there's some contemplative energy that's coming in here as well, because we do have the two of wands coming with the three of wands, okay, um, and I think part of this here is why they came out in this order, normally we'd want to see the two of wands, right, having an idea or some inspiration or, you know, uh, you know, kind of having, um, you know, a, a little seed of opportunity and the two of wands is like, okay, what am I going to do with this energy now? Okay. And you try to figure out and put things together. And then the three, right, you're ready to move forward and take action. Okay. These ones, they're reversed a little bit. And so you see, we've got the movement card with the three of wands bookended by two, uh, cards of, you know, either contemplation or kind of, um, you know, um, needing to overcome an issue or an obstacle. Okay. So I think here that spirit's really trying to give you some encouragement that sometimes our path, our journey forward through life or through relationships, or, you know, if we've got things that we want to accomplish, sometimes we are faced with stops and goes on our journey. Our path forward isn't always 
you know, just a straight shot through to success, right? Sometimes we have issues that are thrown in our path. Sometimes we have, um, you know, some blocks there, right? And then it's like, oh, great. Now I can move forward. I can make progress. I'm certain of what I want. And then, you know, then we're back to the drawing board sometimes with this two of wands that's here. And, you know, that's all part of life, right? Um, so don't be afraid here to take a step back every once in a while and don't get frustrated if things aren't moving forward or progressing as fast as what it is that you want. And also don't be afraid to change your mind. Okay. Sometimes we are on a path, we are on a journey through life and we stick with things and, you know, we, as we grow, as we evolve, um, we do sometimes outgrow things and we do sometimes say, you know what, this isn't for me anymore. And I don't know if I can fix it. If I can fix it, if I can breathe fresh life into my situation, um, then that's great. But if not, maybe I need to go back to the drawing board a little bit. And Spirit says that's okay. Um, because, you know, again, we're, we're all here to grow and evolve. We're all here to live our best life. And as we do grow, as we learn more, as we overcome obstacles, um, we do change and we do evolve. And things that were right for us a year ago, two years ago, five years ago, 20 years ago, are not necessarily right for us today, tomorrow and going forward. So sometimes we do need to um, you know, kind of take that step back a little bit, right? Sometimes life feels like it's two steps forward and one step back or one step forward and 500 steps back, right? Um, but it's part of our journey and it's part of our path. So don't be afraid to go back to the drawing board and to re-examine things here, this two of wands, okay? And, you know, see what sometimes that's where we figure out, oh, right, I forgot this is, you know, what I wanted to do or, oh man, I forgot a puzzle piece somewhere here. Okay. I need to go back to the drawing board. All right. And, you know, again, we can revisit something later on. We can just fix something or we can make some significant change. But this is a time of growth for you, whatever that looks like for you to attract right opportunities, the right people, um, the right situations to make those improvements in your life. There's some really great positive energy coming in here for you really. Okay. A lot of, of course, masculine energy, right? That fire that you've got in your soul, that passion that you've got. So again, right back to the romance card. Okay. Some of you are attracting the right people. Um, you know, you are attracting new people, new connections, or you are looking to breathe fresh life into your relationships. But you know, that romance card comes in with love, but also passion the passion for life, that zest for life that you possess and that can really carry you forward to new heights. Okay. Maybe even discovering new information, new ways of doing things and open the doors of prosperity for you. The page of pentacles is quite often coming in here with the first signs of prosperity. Okay. But this is your physical world when we get the pentacles or it's your knowledge, um, acquiring new skills, the building blocks of life, right? And if you look at the page of wands, you've got an idea, right? You're inspired for something. You're excited for something. And now you're moving forward. You're taking some steps, figuring out what am, what am I going to do next? What are my problems? Where do I need to go to next? Okay. What are my next steps? And then the page of pentacles, right? You're kind of got some ups and downs. And then here you are acquiring those, not that knowledge and that skill and building something wonderful and prosperous for yourself. Okay. Um, the page of pentacles can be that new information knowledge, but it can be the sign of, um, you know, of, uh, material growth for you as well. Okay. So if you're looking to improve your money, your finances, your home, your connections, your commitment. Okay. And of course your skills and your knowledge, all of these doors are opening up for you, but the page of wands is saying that you need to take some action. Okay. You need to kind of, you, it starts with a spark. And it starts with an idea. What are you going to do when you're feeling inspired? What are you going to do with a burst of energy or a burst of excitement? Use it to your advantage and you never know where it might take you. Okay, so, but this is really great energy for you with both of those pages um, on each side. Whoopsies. So, sorry, that might have been a little loud. Um, so, yeah, so I think here that there are some changes ahead for you and they're very, very positive, whatever they happen to be, wherever this is hitting home for you. So don't be afraid to fail. Don't be afraid to take a chance 
on something or someone or yourself. So let's get a few more cards out here for you. Ooh, thank you. And one more. That's a lot. Thank you. There we go. So we have here creativity. There's your page of wands. That's all your wands energy. We, your angelic messengers, are here to help unleash the endless creative potential that you possess. Listen to the whispers of love inside your heart as we communicate with you through feeling and emotion. Let go of fear and apprehension and express endless source of creativity you possess. Have fun and allow the inner child within you to express your true essence. All is valid. I love that for you. Okay, love it. That is your page of wands right there in a nutshell. Okay, here is your next one and we have gratitude. Thank you. This is a heartfelt thanks to you from someone you recently helped in some way. I, your guardian angel, also wish to thank you for the unconditional love you emanate to the earth, humanity, and those around you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You are eternally blessed. May peace, grace, and love forever guide you along your sacred path. And your final message, and we have inspiration. Oh, creativity and inspiration all around you here. A wave of inspiration and a stream of beautiful ideas are about to enter your aura. It is important that you trust your intuition at this time. Pay attention to unusual thoughts that come in your mind and do not discount your imagination. Many wonderful ideas which have served humanity were initially scoffed at or ridiculed. We, your guardian angels, will help you discover ways to apply your ideas and manifest new realities for your life. Wow. Take that. Live it. Love it. Okay. Oh, beautiful energy that's coming in here for you guys. I hope that there was something here for you. We're going to leave that there. If there was something, if this resonated for you in any way, please don't forget to hit like on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I thank you so very much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.